Drop-in mode allows peplink balance and max routers to be deployed in a network without making any changes to your existing network devices. This feature simplifies the installation by allowing the peplink to transparently and seamlessly work with your routers and firewalls. Let's take a quick look at the overall process before we proceed with the sample configuration. Start with the peplink router disconnected from any network hardware. Simply connect a computer for the initial configuration and once complete, we can insert it into the existing network. Suppose your existing network looks similar to this diagram. The default gateway router here is connected to the ISP with the IP address 210.10.10.1. The firewall is performing network address translation for the local area network to access the internet and its external facing. IP address is 210.10.10.2. Next, the peplink will be installed between the existing router and the firewall. Under drop-in mode, traffic is forwarded between the LAN and the WAN 1 ports of the peplink without performing any IP address translation. In this case, the firewall will not notice any changes of the IP address for the hosts on WAN 1 and the same for the other way around. Here, the IP address 210.10.10.3 will be used for the peplink routers lawn and WAN1. After that, you can add more ISP connections to aggregate and load balance across multiple links. In this diagram, the DSL and cable connections will be the second and third internet connections. This should be what your network looks like after installing the balance under drop-in mode. Now let's see how the configuration is done. Log into the web admin interface of your peplink and go to the network tab. Select Network Settings on the left under LAN. Click on the untagged LAN, referring to the network diagram shown earlier. Enter 210.10.10.3 for the IP address, and the subnet will be left as is. Check this box to enable drop-in mode. Additional settings will appear below. This includes a note warning you that enabling this feature will overwrite some settings for the LAN 1 port. At the WAN for drop-in mode setting select WAN 1. Next, enter 210.10.10.1 for the default gateway and apply DNS servers. We'll use one from Google and the second from Cloudflare, but you can also enter what your main router is using. Click Save and then apply changes to complete this process. You are now ready to connect the Peplink router to your production network. Note that it may be necessary to reboot the router and firewall to update their RP tables since they may not perform this immediately and automatically. You'll also want to verify that the network is routing traffic correctly before installing additional connections. Once verified, proceed with any additional WAN connections you may be needing to connect.